Hi, I'm Michael. And I'm AC. And, and we're, we're Arbor, Arbor North. North. So the meaning behind You, Me, and Jesus is so much more than just a song for us because it was the first dance song at our wedding. And when we were setting out to find a first dance song, we had all these Spotify playlists, we were passing songs back and forth, trying to figure something out. And there were so many beautiful songs that we could have chosen. There were just hundreds of them. Um, but at the end of the day, we decided, you know, we're songwriters, that's the way that we best communicate. And so we decided, why don't we write a song that is very reminiscent of our vows to each other. And we decided to use the phrase, you, me, and Jesus, because that was a phrase that all throughout our relationship, up until we got married, and even yeah. now, yeah. we still use, was just this phrase to reassure each other while we were long distance and um, comfort each other since we missed each other so much. It was just our way of saying, everything's okay. Everything's gonna be all right. I miss you, but it's you, me, and Jesus, and we're gonna be just fine. So as far as the writing process for this <laughs> song, we wrote this song, again, uh, since AC mentioned, we were long distance the whole time we were in a relationship before we were married. So all of our communication was on the phone or Zoom or text even. And so we wrote this song over three Zoom sessions <laughs> over the course of the COVID-19 pandemic. And this song was it took three sessions to write and songwriting is funny like that sometimes you'll nail it in one session and in one three hour session you'll have a song other songs take a little more time to flesh out the ideas and with this song the challenge was that there's so much we could say there's there's so much to say and we were like okay is it a story song is it a situational song like painting a picture or is it <laughs> so at the end of the day we settled on no you know what i think it's a it's a very simple vow it's a very simple vow to each other and honestly it was very very similar to what the vows at our actual wedding were when we yeah. said them to each other so so michael and i we produce our own music and so when we went into the studio we had an idea of how we wanted this song to sound and sort of the the feel that we wanted surrounding it. And we decided to keep the production very simple uh, because for us, the words in this song held the weight of what we were trying to say. And we really wanted those to be out there and to just kind of stand in front. And we also wanted that feeling of simplicity because it brings intimacy to the song. And so we wanted that really intimate, right there in front of your face feel and it was just soft and gentle. And so we went with a very acoustic production on this with a, just a beautiful fiddle that had almost a little bit of a Celtic feel to it. And uh, we just thought that that was the best way to go in production in the studio with this one. We recorded You, Me, and Jesus at a great studio called The Blue Grotto in Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, Sean Spence is the recording engineer. We love Sean. Kyle Pudens played the fiddle, Jonathan Wyndham played the acoustic guitar, Patrick Martin played the bass, I played percussion and the piano, and of course AC and I <laughs> sang, and it was mixed by a really good friend Mark Lonsway, and mastered by Andrew Darby at Georgetown Masters, and uh, we're just, we're so thankful, yeah. all these incredible gentlemen were just, they're, they're some of Nashville's best, and uh, you know, you only get so far without a tribe, and we're very thankful to have an incredible tribe alongside of us. Yeah. This song is just such a true reflection of our hearts, of our relationship, of what we believe and what we feel. And we really hope that people out there uh, are touched by it. We hope that they connect with it and um, that it just really speaks to them in the same way that it spoke to us as we were writing it.